You know what time it is, geek gang. It is time to get sauced up with another Hajime no Epo reaction. By the way, guys, we added a second day for Epo. So if you guys check the schedule, you'll notice that we got the Monday or the Sunday show and the Friday show. Yeah, buddy, got two days a week. Yes, and also we're gonna be adding a little bit of Ace of Diamond in that thing. I'm just saying. So. You know, if you see things change throughout the week, obviously this is the last week for ranking the kings. So it may be th that Ace of Nine might be taking that, that ranking of kings spot. Um, obviously, this is the last week also of Moon Knight. Uh, so not sure what I'm going to replace that with. Also, I may be moving Shield Hero to Patreon. It just isn't performing well just to keep it a stack. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just not really performing well. And I'm like, you know, and... If things don't perform well on the channel, it actually hurts the channel negatively. So I, just, I have to think about it that way. So, yeah. But Epo is here. And, man, that last episode was so crazy. Epo, uh, you know the thing I love about Epo, and I've said this before, is the ability that this character has to implement the fundamentals without getting without the ego getting in the way, right? And he may get to that point where he gets really good and, he, and maybe his ego gets the best of him at a, at a certain point in time. But right now him starting out he still doesn't think much of himself uh and you know him just going through the motions of what did i learn how do i implement is awesome and we're seeing that here and obviously now he didn't he wasn't expecting a counter punch uh and an evasive maneuver but by miata to dodge an uppercut crazy so this is so awesome. I cannot wait to get into this episode, man. And if you guys, like I said, want to join the journey, man, make sure you guys hit that bell so you guys don't miss any future reactions of Hajime no Ibo. But other than that, let's put these in. Let's get this thing popping. Let's go. Yeah, my man, sleep, sleep. Yo, you awake? Yeah, man, Epo got the destructive force of one centimeter. Ooh. Look at that, bro. He basically said he got hit so hard the first time. <laughs> right, he's, he's three months ago, he's a completely different person. Ooh, okay. Hey, but at least he's aware. That's awesome. He's like, I gotta treat him like he's my equal. Yeah. He's about to be hype. First of all, how you got a little curl popping out the front of your forehead? Yep. Exactly. Yep. まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、
Strategy. My dude is strategic. But that's that experience, man. Yeah. Oof. Oof. Damn. Damn. Oof. Oof. He in and out, bro. That's what a hamburger is all about. Points. Yep. Oof. 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 Yep. Uh oh. Yep. My legs. Experience is the, is the that's what it usually the difference is. Oof, oof, oof. Damn. Knocked your mouthpiece out, bro. My mouthpiece. Damn. Hey, bro. That's what happens. Put you on the flow. Look, how do you like that? He hyped. <laughs> oh? <laughs> Bruh. He's like, bro, what? Bruh. He's so determined. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah! Oh! しもお前がガッツポーズとはな。初めて見た。ははは。自分でも驚いてるよ。あいつのパンチはどれを取っても一撃必殺の威力があるの感が<笑><笑> trickle into his son you know what i'm saying like that's like, so dope to me he's like i want to win bro see i think i'd like to win bro here we go. Yes, okay. Let's go, bruh. Okay. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> on that rope dope right now. Let him tired. Yeah. Oof. Here it comes. Oof. Uh oh. Oof. Missed again. Oh. <laughs> How can he produce a punch like that in this condition? Oh, look at that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ooh. Ooh.パートナー。さすがにあの体勢からアッパーが出てくる対応想定できる。なんてこった。シェイ。ま、待ってくださいよ。今立つから。Not wait, I'm getting up. シェイ。待ってくれ。Oh my god. Yo, holy cow, bro. Wow. Nope. Look at that. Oof. 
Boy. <laughs> I love it. He's gonna pass out. <laughs> Bruh. He's so resilient. <laughs> yep. Look at that. <laughs> Epo about to have a name, bro. But you still got your clothes on, cuz. I love it. I love it. So good. Uh, uh, what? The truth is what? You gotta take him out of it? He's so hype. <laughs> that episode was so good. That episode was so good. I, I said before, like, right? Like, Miata has that experience. So, and I think that's the thing, too, is, you know, Miata going in that he started out not taking him so serious, right? found out the hard way all right cool well he found out after he got seriously hit he's like oh shit okay like he hits hard like he's just, this dude is serious right so after that first round that clinch round that he was going through just to get his his stamina back right then he was like right, i'm gonna get this i'm gonna get this man this work this next round I'm, I'm back my legs are feeling good um but he still couldn't put him down and i think there was a part of him that got overzealous and was still betting on the fact that like, you, he's not an innovative fighter right now, right? He's just doing what he's been taught. I can read his uppercut. I know it's coming, right? But Ipo threw something like, oh, oh, the opening's there. Let me throw this uppercut real quick, right? I think in that regard, because he, he was thinking on his toes, he wasn't thinking of form. He wasn't thinking of like, okay, what, where do I need my body to be? He was just like, oh, like, I know I, I can hit him now, right? And I thought that was dope. Because it's starting to show, it's starting to show that what he's taking fundamental wise, that he's now learning how to apply it in other in other ways, right? He's like, okay, I just gotta hold out until until it slows down. Oh, oh, the rhythm slowed down. Okay, cool. Let me let me throw a punch, see if I can get it in, right? Thought it was dope. I thought it was super clever. So I'm excited to see what happens. You know, Miata now, like his dad walks in. I'm trying to figure out, like, okay, is he gonna remove him from that gym? You know what I'm saying? Like, like, look, you can't have two young books in the same gym. Like, we, like, I wonder what that's gonna be like because Miata's now super motivated. You know, so. Uh, it was awesome. <laughs> no, you made a rival out of him for sure. He ain't gonna be there, cuz. Te kotoa miata kun kyo wa konai ka. Ma, ashita ni wa kitto aeru daro na. They ain't thinking anything of it. Next day. The next day. Kyo mo konai na. Miata kun, dou shita an daro. You left the gym, bro. Nande konai in daro. If it were me, I'd kill myself. Chill. <laughs> He's a dude, such an asshole. <laughs> you punch like a wet sponge, cuz. You need motivation. 
割と調子よく見えましたけど<笑>見かけはなしかし一つ一つのパンチから宮田とのスパーリング前の緊張感が伝わってこんのじゃあ宮田君がいないから気合が入らない Oh, he going Zadi. What you know, I soon as you look at it, Jimmy Bantan, this and eh? Gendio Mojunto. I say, don't go. Eh? Takamura, 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 eh? He said, I have no idea. Oh. Ah. He don't dip on you, cuz. Ah. And he laughing while he running. Ha. Ah. <laughs> yep. Yep. Bruh, he killing him right now. He's like, I didn't know it was like this. <laughs> this is the workload of a man on an empty stomach, bro. Cause he's not eating. He's he's on his diet for the fight. Uh, <laughs> it just collapsed. Totally different. Uh. Uh. Ooh. Oh. I love it. He's like, oh, so you came to the gym to make friends, homie? I thought you wanted to be a box. I thought you wanted this life. I thought you wanted to do it like this. I'm loving this right now, bro. He's like, you need to check yourself, bro. Like, you can't. You, what are the reasons why you were here? <laughs> He's like, ah, oh, bruh. <laughs> Not the lady mags. Not the. My dude got the nudie mags, the toilet paper, <laughs> the tissues. <laughs> Not the. Oh! <laughs> Look at his face, though. <laughs> <laughs> Evo's doing porn? <laughs> 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 uh, that's so crazy. <laughs> and you ate the fucking shit at the top. <laughs> Not delish. とりあえずやったらデビュー戦で勝っちまったな。そしたら拍手が雨みたいに降ってきてよ。うん。最高に気分がいいんだ。人に褒められたなんて初めてだったからな。いそうファケットイ。わかります。わかります。わかります。わか
you just you think you know the struggle you don't and this man struggling by himself yeah he's not complaining to nobody mm. damn bro what that scene was amazing <laughs> hey. Hey. Bruh, come on, bro. That'd be fucked up if you watch this man get his ass beat. Huh. <laughs> Not the corny theme song. Night, like that. Sheesh. Ah. So he find. Uh, so he actually finally sees his, you know, his. I guess his mentor. You know what I'm saying? In the lights, he's like, "Oh man, this is it." Now my man's gonna get some food for show. Sure. What I say? なんであ、そうさ。てめえのせいさ。だがな、恥かいたとかそんな戦えないからだ。いや。Boy, come on, come on! You see the Willer hot dog? It looked like Miller Light logo, but it was Willer hot dog. That episode was awesome. I mean, I don't even know where to start. Uh, let's just start with uh, what's what's the what's his his mentor's name? I can't even get his name, but you guys know his name. Him, like. Having the coach te tell him, like, look, you need to go shadow him, train with him up for the fight. Because he, need he needed some motivation. He needed to see something else. Because right now you were just looking at Miyata. That's all you were focused on. And now that that fight is over, you have nothing to look forward to. He's not in the, in, in the gym anymore. And you don't know why. So you have no motivation at the moment. So I thought that was awesome. of like, like, look, go shadow him. But then him seeing like, cause he was like, dude, like I thought you wanted, I thought you wanted to be a boxer. Like you want friends? Like what's going on? Like what? Why are you here exactly? So when he had invited him over and he saw firsthand, like, oh, you just gonna eat a tomato, bro? Like that's it? And then at night, he's like, oh yeah, you can stand a night here, cool. And then my man is clenching his stomach, like in pain, hunger pains for real. And it's one of those things where. You know, it's one of those, uh, it's like that, the idea of like, you know, uh, people suffering in, suffering in, in the shadows, you know what I'm saying? Like around everybody else, everything seemed great. Everything is, is Gucci, blah, blah. But when he alone, this shit hurt, right? So he over there laying out and my man's wake, he, he wakes up cause he hears him like, you know, clenching and making noises and he sees him in the kitchen, like trying to ignore it i'm gonna, i'm just gonna box it out like i'm gonna ignore this shit and then once i'm done i'm gonna go back to sleep but he was about to go to the refrigerator and start chow chowing down but he's like nah i can't do it it'll be worth it it'll be worth it and like i i think the the sacrifice and the 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 torture he has to put himself through to get the w was something that i think was a good reset for ipo right because ipo was like oh yeah you know i want I beat Miata. Okay, cool. Like, all right, that's it. It's like, bro, like you are nowhere near what it takes. Like you're not there yet. 
right? And then him training with him, he saw like, oh shit, like he's on a completely different level. Like, yes, you're not there yet, bro. You, you have a long way to go. I thought that was awesome. It was such a great way of kind of showcasing stuff without really saying much, right? He wasn't teaching him shit. He was just around and him being around and seeing the kind of work ethic, uh, what he has to put his body through just to be able to fight at a certain weight. Crazy. I mean, it was just awesome. What a great, what a great episode. And at the end, Miata, I knew he had fucking left. I knew, I was like, I was like, you're at the same gym. Like you, he wants to fight you, right? So that makes sense. So now you actually have a real rival, like a real rival. Like, look, we both one and one. Cool. We're going to settle this as pros. We're going to settle this in a real fight, a real fight, right? So no sparring match. I thought that was dope. Um, and yeah, it's, it's going to be super exciting to see where this goes, how this develops. But I'm glad that he actually has a real rival. There's no animosity, right? Like Miata looking at him like, I look at you as as a as an actual competitor, right? He's taking you serious, which means like, cool. Like, yep, I, I didn't take you serious and I took an L and I was on me. But next time we, we fight him for real and it, I'm taking you all the way serious. So I think this is, I think this shit is fire. I think it's super fire. And I think now too, also in that regard, he under, like, I understand now why the coach was really concerned because he, he was like, when is... When is the deadline for pro sign up? Because he knew that Miata was leaving and going to go pro. So he was like, I need to get him up and running. Like, I need you to be ready to go for these signups, you know? So it, it, the storytelling is awesome. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know what else to say, bro. Like, this show is incredible. It's so good. Let me know your guys' thoughts so far watching this. If you guys are watching this for the first time, how are you enjoying it? If you guys are re-watching this with me, um, yeah, like how is it this go around? I guess like is this your first time, first time rewatching it, third or fourth time rewatching it? Uh, let me know that as well. And what episode numbers are you most excited for me to watch? Uh, I I'm just having a great time, great time. And don't don't forget, we're watching this twice a week now. So very very excited. So you guys want to stay with my journey? Make sure you guys tune in for my next ones. Hit the bell. Make sure it's selected for all. Because sometimes if you select the bell for personalized, it only shows like some things so make sure you guys select all when you hit the bell just so you don't miss these um but other than that man i'll catch you guys in the next one geek gang we out this thing